Hey, old Uncle Mark in the mothership. Got here a uh, rock and roll song. Rolling Stones. Okay, so uh, the way Honky Tonk Women starts is these notes. And I'm stopping that sound using a palm mute, so I hit and then stop. get pretty exotic with these palm mutes so I suggest you give that a try also it's got some uh, rock and roll rhythm stuff so you know that this is a C because uh, G I'm tuned in open G G sharp a B flat B C and just remember where you are within these dots so uh, you know you know that this is a B flat you know that this is a C that dot there is a D this one's an E and the doubles are 12 12 always starts over there's your G again and you know where your dots are again so you know you can kind of just count up there and just uh, do the alphabet system that's what I do so uh, this has got a couple of concepts this rock and roll rhythm on the C you come up to this A note you can use your third finger so you're kind of doing this with all these notes. There's also something with this song where you're going to start out with it on. That's a Rolling Stones thing where you start with this note on and you're doing this. So you're coming up on it. So it's like a different type of chord. It almost looks like, you know, something you would do like that. But you're going to bar and use that third finger. If you put your slide on your pinky here, if you put your slide on your third finger, use your pinky to catch that. Or if you're really bold, you can do it with your second finger or whatever you want to do. Um, so I tend to be a purist when it comes to your frets and where your fingers go. So if I am going to play this note and need to go to this one, I'm going to use these two fingers. And if I need to go to any notes in between, I'm going to use this one. So if you see me go, that's why I do that, because I'm using these three notes. If I was using one up here, I'd use my pinky. So I tend to use these three. I shuffle my hand around to use notes. So this song comes out, palm mute. Here you are in the fourth fret. So you're hitting a B, A, open G. Okay, then you're hitting this E, open. And then you're coming down on this uh, B flat, give it a bend. a couple of these so I'm just going from hitting this string here and hitting the front so I'm gonna hit the uh, low G and then hit the high G and if I inadvertently hit the middle string it doesn't quite matter because the whole thing works then I go to C Rock and roll rhythm. Then I go to A. Rock and roll rhythm. Then I slide all the way up from A to D with this note on. So you gotta go from A, rock and roll rhythm. So it depends on how you want to approach that move. Um, if you have a slide on your finger, you can come up from the A. You know, remember to put your slide on the uh, little bit above the fret 
just a little bit there. You want to be on that fret, not on the dot, but on the fret that's above it, and a little bit higher in pitch. It seems to work that way. It's uh, go higher rather than lower. That's the way I play my slide. So you kind of want to be, I'll try to get really close, you kind of want to be right in there little bit higher. Low sounds awful, so, or very sour is a good word for it, but you know, a little higher is better. So that's what I do. So I'll run through this real fast. It's a pretty simple song. You just kind of play three chords, one, four, five, G, C, D. Mm -hmm. 